Our ideas are of greatest benefit not to the rich, but to those who are most suffering from the state, and that is really the working class. Now the, uh, the free Detroit idea that some people are banding about is absolutely brilliant. And I'll tell you why. Detroit is a city in collapse. And we need to show as libertarians and anarchists that we can take even the worst of situations, like a collapse situation, and turn it into something that is way, way better than what the government uh, can do. Uh, I like the blue-collar aspect of Detroit as well. I think that's good publicity for libertarians because we're often uh, labeled as the uh, top hat and uh, monocle guys. You know, the, uh, the monopoly guys. And we're not. We're not. Our ideas, although some of us tend to associate more with the right and, um, and even to play into these ideas of, you know, rich and capitalism and all that stuff, our ideas are of greatest benefit not to the rich, but to those who are most suffering from the state, and that is really the working class. And out there in Detroit, in the whole Midwest, the uh, Rust Belt, uh, those are some of the people who have most suffered, and most unjustly as well. Also, I think that you know we have the, the Free State Project, and that's doing pretty well, but New Hampshire, the whole New England thing, uh, that's not for everybody. You know, that's a pretty rural situation up there. I've explored New Hampshire myself. I actually bought some property up there. And, uh, you know, even Manchester is not a very big city. It's around 100,000 people, I think, at max. Um, so it's all pretty rural. You have to travel pretty far to, to, to do meetups with people. Uh, people are pretty well spread out. And uh, the whole New England thing is kind of, you know, everybody's kind of, sorry, but this is my experience. People are standoffish, you know. It's not that, it's not, it wasn't, when I went up there to, to, to go live in 2009, uh, I didn't get any help. Nobody wanted to help me find a place to live. And uh, everything was expensive. And other people I, I've seen have had trouble getting, getting jobs, even minimum wage work. And the transportation is, issue is always there. I would like to see an urban, an urban uh, libertarian concentration project, and I think Detroit would be a great place to do it, where we all locate in what you could call a temporary autonomous zone, uh, maybe a block or two blocks, and we're all there and we can actually put into practice in a microcosm all these things we talk about, like armed patrol, uh, the insurance uh, thing, the DRO, um, mutual aid, all that stuff. So I, I think Free Detroit has a lot of promise. Now so far all it is is vaporware uh, as far as I can tell. The Free Detroit people need to get a website set up. Uh, there needs to be a business plan, a budget, there needs to be publicity, there needs to be an attempt to reach out to people and there needs to be somebody there on site who is going to be a strong leader for this, a strong advocate and who's going to make sure that everything happens. I'm available to help so let's make free Detroit happen. Let's do it. Get protected today at shieldmutual.com.